arc block is my 50x altcoin gem for this upcoming 2024-2025 bull run. I've studied countless projects positioning themselves for Web3, and I firmly believe that ArcBlock checks all of the boxes to 50x in the coming years. I think minimum it hits $50, and uh, in this video, I will break down exactly why I am so bullish on ArcBlock. First and foremost, I think ArcBlock can really become the next injective and have an injective-like run-up. Injective, of course, run up a lot in the later half of 2023, and I think ArcBlock is due for that similar run-up. They have similar technologies and similar tokenomics, um, and exploring the tokenomics of these two coins, we do see that ArcBlock has 186 million tokens, and over 65% of this token supply is already in circulation, which is pretty good. There's not going to be too many unlocks in the future. And this is similar to Injective, which has 100 million tokens with around a 90% circulating supply. Obviously, Injective is the better token in terms of tokenomics, but ArcBlock has a much lower market cap, and it's still rising up the ranks, and it's still building a lot. It's still relatively new to this bull run. Now, going into the second reason why I think ArcBlock is so, so undervalued and bullish is because of the cutting-edge blockchain architecture that it builds upon. Now, ArcBlock utilizes an advanced multi-chain architecture that improves upon older platforms like Ethereum. It's more scalable, it's more secure, it's more speedy, and it's much more cost-effective. And it's going to be able to support a lot of transactions per second, sub 10 second confirmation times, and it's going to be designed specifically for the scale and requirements of mass decentralized applications. This is extremely bullish and is building an ecosystem where it can be a provider of these improvements. Now, a third reason, and this is probably one of the most important reasons for ArcBlock, is that it strongly hits the narratives that are going to be the driving narratives in the bull run, and these include interoperability, AI, Web3 Layer 1, just to name a few. Now, looking at the trends that ArcBlock hits for this bull run, these are going to be the narratives that are going to drive this bull run. And as you can see, ArcBlock positions itself within many of the strongest narratives. It hits interoperability, which is huge. It hits AI, another huge component. It hits Layer 1s, modularity, big data cloud infrastructure, it hits all of these narratives and that is going to be huge when people start looking at coins that maybe have some of these um, narratives and aspects to, tied to it. And ArcBlock being in so many of these narratives just increases its value for your average consumer. Now, going into reason number four, we have the fact that ArcBlock is backed by an experienced leadership team that is constantly driving adoption, okay? The CEO is Robert Mao. He is a very experienced engineer for Microsoft, and he's worked on many, many projects before. And ArcBlock has already been striking game-changing partnerships with the likes of AWS, Google Cloud, just to name a few. ArcBlock is constantly building these partnerships, building these relationships, because it knows that in order to grow, it's going to have to leverage these relationships, so that is extremely good and extremely bullish sign for ArcBlock. Now, going into reason number five, we have the fact that ArcBlock is backed by a lot of VC funding. Uh, massive crypto VC firms like Sequoia China, Metastable, um, just to name a few, have already invested big bucks into ArcBlock after they've done tons of due diligence. And you know this project has been through thoroughly vetted on tech and leadership credentials when you see all of these firms funding into it. And uh, with a tiny $200 million market cap, ArcBlock is still very under the radar and it's an absolute steal before you get that mainstream adoption later in 2024 and early into 2025. I think from this current price point, which we're sitting at around $2.04, I think ArcBlock has 50x potential to even $100 in the most bullish case. And going into what I think the price predictions are going to be for ArcBlock in this bull run, I think that a bearish scenario, we're going to see around a $10 to $20 ArcBlock, which gives it around a $1 billion to $2 billion market cap, which I think is extremely doable. That is very, very tiny in the grand scheme of things. 
I think most likely we're going to get forty dollars to sixty dollars. That puts it around a four to six billion dollar market cap. Which once I, once again, for a project of this caliber with this much funding with this much technology, in this hype of a narrative, this is very very likely. And for the most bullish scenario, we're looking at around a hundred dollars to two hundred dollars. This puts ArcBlock at a market cap of 10 billion to 20 billion. Now, of course, this is very bullish in my opinion, but it's still doable. I can definitely see this happening. 10 billion to 20 billion is still not that much, and with better um, marketing, I do believe ArcBlock will hit those numbers. Now, looking at some technical analysis. Right now, as you can see, this was the last video I did uh, where ArcBlock was still sitting at that $1 mark. And I said, I said in that video, guys, if you listened, ArcBlock is going to consolidate in this $1 10 cent range for maybe a couple of days, a couple of weeks, and then it's going to have that next leg up. Now, as you can see, it indeed did have that next leg up now to the $2 range at as high a hit around $2.40 and it's dropped down now to about $2 and I do believe that we might see some more consolidation um, the next support level is going to be around $1.60 uh, uh, maybe even down to $1.30 but that's extremely bearish um, I'd say $1.60 $1.70 is going to be kind of that next accumulation zone um, where you could definitely load your bags heavily if it does drop down to that range and feel pretty safe about it. Um, but like I said, it's crypto. Nothing can be really predicted. Uh, everything's very unpredictable. And for all I know, ArcBlock could sit in this $2 range for a while and then make its next leg up into this Fibonacci zone, this high of around $3. So you never know. Um, if you don't have any ArcBlock, I would definitely look into it. Of course, do your research. I'm not a financial advisor. I do not give financial advice, but go look into ArcBlock, okay? Uh, this is very a very bullish play of mine. I think it's going to do extremely well in this bull run. And if you like the video, guys, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Help a small channel out like me. And I'll see you guys in the next video.